<laughs> questions um we already talked about how you know doing show and tells or just showing up on camera can you know can be a little nerve-wracking and on top of that you know around the end of your program when you're nearing completion and getting ready for the jobs and the job market um, a part of the program um, encourages doing mock interviews now you know people are already tensing up because um, the job market can be intense people are nervous it's something new and on top of that doing mock interviews or being in that kind of setting can feel very confronting and a little intimidating and scary but you know at the end of the day it's still very necessary so um, if a student is afraid to do a mock interview, what advice would you give them to overcome it? Um, I, yeah, I was afraid and even a little bit now still, but um, not as much anymore because it takes a little bit of practice and it gets uh, slightly easier to focus. Uh, you just focus on what your answers are going to be and I you know I'm not the best speaker about you know things <laughs> but um it's good practice to to just do it just do it and um may maybe uh, try to do them more often because then it just gets easier as um as they come around when that time comes <laughs> It's easy. It gets a little bit easier. Definitely. That is so correct. Um, especially because I've been through that. I used to, you know, the version you're seeing me here right now as um, there was a past version of me that was camera shy. My voice would like quake and shiver when I'm speaking. Yeah. <laughs> but you know I, I'm not sure if people like maybe now it's different with practice but um, I really really if there's one thing I encourage um, students is to really take advantage of the mock interviews the best way to prepare for the job market is putting yourself in those simulated situations um, and doing the mock interviews you don't have to be perfect to show up for a mock interview rather to get closer to perfection is um, you do need to do these mock interviews because that is when you get the necessary constructive feedback that you need that you may not know about due to oversight. You need Sometimes you need professional advice on those things. And if you consistently do mock interviews, you know, frequently don't space them out too much. They need to be a little more frequent. Um, you get used to it faster. You can retain your knowledge better. And, um, I, I would say, you know, this kind of uh, overlaps with the show and tell conversation conversation we were having. That is more of like the practical version. This is more theoretical, but they kind of go hand in hand. The more you do it, the better you get. Um, and listen, I understand that people can get nervous, but it's really necessary to overcome that and just try. Um, that's where you get your answers, your uh, questions answered. That's where you get corrected. That's where you get the necessary feedback. And that's how I believe you really get the necessary preparation for the real world interview. Because if you can survive, um, if you are scared of a simulated um, mock interview, how will you feel on the spot when you are on a call or on an interview and a job actually depends on it? So it is very important that you prepare and you know, that you are ready for the intensity, you know, a, a person can feel when they're, I guess, in the hot seat, when there is a recruiter call or an interview, it just helps you more instinctively answer. So thank you for sharing your thoughts, Kim, that's very helpful.